Happy Math Day, everybody. So uh, just looking at a, a nice little question real quick here. Um, this is question 19 from the um, part two practice questions from Monday's class. And um, this is kind of a neat question because it's got an equal sign in it. So when we see an equal sign, it means that we're gonna be able to solve or hopefully try and be able to solve a question like this. And when we look at the question, you can see that there is sort of like two types of terms. So each of these things is a term, right? So there, we've got four terms here. And there's really like two main types of terms. The first is these terms with the X's, and then the other is these terms with just the numbers. So what we're gonna try and do is collect like terms, so group the X's together, and then we'll group those numbers together. Um, and the equal sign is gonna sort of like uh, just make things be a little bit different for us. So for one thing, I think we just need to organize this, right? Like we wanna keep all the numbers together and we'd like to keep all the X's together. I always like keeping the variables, like the X's, on the left side of the equal sign. So I'm gonna put all the X's over on this side. Um, this 2x is already here, so that's good. And this 7x, this 7x we want to bring over the equal sign. So if we go to move something and we move it over the equal sign, it flips in sign. Okay, so we're going to assume here that this is positive, right? We don't see anything else otherwise, so we're going to assume it's positive. And when we bring it over this equal sign, it's going to become negative. So on, uh, next to this 2x, I'm going to have negative 7x. Wow. Okay. Equals negative 15. And then this 17, I want to bring over here to join up with this with the other numbers. So when we bring this 17 over the equal sign, it's going to flip, right? Right in front of it is a plus or positive. That means that when we bring it over the equal sign, it's going to become negative. Oh, boy. Great. Now we can collect these like terms. On this side, positive 2 minus 7 gives us negative 5. And on this side, in debt, $15, and then you spend 17 more dollars means now you're in debt, $32. Big money. Okay, great. So we've sort of cleaned up this question. Now, if we look at what this term is saying, this term is saying negative 5 times whatever x is is going to equal negative 32. Now, I want the answer to just say, like, like, x is the number, right? So I don't want this 5 here. This, this negative 5 is kind of in the way. So instead of saying negative 5 times x, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to divide by negative 5. Though, though that makes, like, opposing forces, right? Times negative 5 and then divide by negative 5. It kind of neutralizes everything. Um, so, so really, these fives, like the, the influence of them or the power of them, kind of cancel each other out, right? Because they, they're opposing each other. But this equal sign says that if we do something to this side, you have to do the equal thing to this side. So on this side, we're going to divide by negative 5. So that leaves us with just x on this left side. And then on the right side, I'm going to take my trusty old calculator. Oh, boy, trusty old calculator. A negative divided by a negative is going to give us a positive. So I'll put in 32 with the negative button. And then I'm going to divide by 5 with the negative button. And we get 6.4. Wow, what a great answer. And since we don't see a sign on the calculator, we know it's positive. So x is 6.4. Wowie zowie. Yeah, so great. So great. 
Cheers.